I actually had a blood disease as a, as a child. I had ITP, which is an uh, immune-related problem where you get a low platelet count. So even when I was three, four, or five years old, I used to have to go to the doctor and get my blood drawn, and they'd say, watch the choo-choo train. This blood would go through those old plastic tubes. And that was my first introduction to doctors, was actually a hematologist. And of course, hematology and oncology go hand in hand. So I, I knew when I was going through medical school that I was interested in internal medicine. And choosing a subspecialty, that just seemed the one that interested me the most. I went to medical school in the 80s. And in those days, we were still giving most of the chemotherapies in the hospital. We didn't have good anti-nausea drugs. We didn't have very good treatments, to, period. And so it is night and day compared to what it was like when I first entered. The times changed, I think, in 2001 when Gleevec came out for CML. It's uh, an oral agent for that drug that took a previously uniformly fatal disease over the five to ten years and made it basically a disease that you live with and you lived your whole life and didn't die from it. Uh, but in the last ten years there have been just a, a profusion of drugs. The, the biggest thing of course are the immune therapies and the drugs that have come out recently, these IV drugs called the checkpoint inhibitors, uh, they work basically by re-stimulating your own body's immune system against your cancer. Uh, for most cancers to survive, they have to be able to evade your immune system. If they didn't, you're, you wouldn't have the cancer. Your, tumor, your lymphocytes and your immune system would take care of them. When the individual lymphocytes come in contact with them, they, they don't recognize what they're seeing and they just go on their own way. Or in some situ situations, the tumor can even shut down the lymphocytes, so they just float away inert. And these new checkpoint inhibitors seem to pull the cloak off of the tumor. So now when the, the lymphocytes come sniffing around, they're able to recognize that these cells do not belong, that they're abnormal, and they can mount the body's immune system to attack them and eradicate them. People have asked me, what am I going to do when I retire? I'm like, well, you know, retire. What are you talking about? You know, that's the old saying, right? If you find a job you love, you'll never work another day. And so I'm just, I enjoy what I do. And I have to admit, um, the advances have, have advanced my retirement age as well because it is so much, uh, so much happier place now than it was 20 or 30 years ago. I, I like what I do. I can see visible benefits from what I do. I, I enjoy my work. I love my nurse practitioners, my nurses, and the patients. So I'm, I will be here whenever you come back to interview me again.